generally when we talk about the area of the country impacted during the summer, we're talking about the Midwest from about Texas up to Nebraska and from Kansas on over to Illinois. And these areas can expect warm, dry weather and that's gonna be bad for agriculture. My name is Anthony Lupo and I'm a professor of atmospheric science at the University of Missouri. Right now it looks as if Texas and Oklahoma may bear the brunt of the hot weather again this summer. They're already dry from last year and that hasn't changed over the winter. So they're going into the summer with no moisture to begin with and that's not good. With the subsoil being dry, there's no moisture for the crops to start with and the winter time here has not helped. We haven't had much rain at all and we certainly haven't had much snow. That does not help the, the early season. When you look to similar patterns to this year in the past, I'm looking at the, the mid-50s, 1954 through 1956, there were three straight La Nina years and those summers were very hot. Generally with these extended La Nina conditions, hot and dry will go hand in hand. So our projection right now is for a warmer than normal summer, bordering on hot and dry.